Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, it has been a very long time, I'm not going to lie. I had a really lazy Christmas. It is now I think the day after Boxing Day or the day after the day after Boxing Day and I'm back to filming. I've been wanting to film this for a little while because it's just been sat in my office um, but I wanted to wait until I could do it properly with no stress about missing Christmas, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so we're back to it. It's a haul today from Chien or I don't know how you say it but that's what I call it and hopefully it'll be good. Um, I'm doing it now, I've got an hour and a half to film this in. Um, hopefully it shouldn't take that long at all because we've got Nando's and I thought I need to film this before I eat my Nando's because otherwise I'm gonna be really bloated and the stuff's just not gonna look as good. <laughs> so let's just jump straight into it. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start this haul and basically I usually just wear dungarees and a t-shirt or like comfy clothes or just really casual to be honest. So when we have, whenever we're like going out or there's something, for example, this haul is because my boyfriend's got his graduation next month and I was like, I don't know what to wear because I literally don't dress up nice ever. I never have a reason to go out. Like these days, if you go out for dinner, you usually just wear jeans and a t-shirt or like a nice top. Um, but yeah, you just, I don't know, these days you just don't usually get dressed up much. It's not normal. Like most of my friends just wear casual clothes when we go out, you know, jeans and a nice top's usually <laughs> what we go for. Um, so when occasions like this graduation come up, I never have anything to wear and I feel like I usually go in the complete opposite direction, whereas I have like loads of really nice over the top dresses, like glittery dresses and I think I need like an in-between, something that looks nice that isn't too much uh, and too smart. So we're sort of going for that for today. I sort of thought let's get a little black dress. Uh, and I may have bought like four or five because <laughs> I just didn't know what ones would look nice. So I bought loads of different ones because they were quite cheap. I bought a nice jacket because obviously it's January next month. And for the graduation, I thought I'm going to be freezing cold in a little black dress. So I need to get a nice jacket or a nice coat. And yeah, we'll just go from there. So this is basically me trying to find a outfit for the graduation. But also I just wanted to show you guys what I got because I think I got some nice stuff as well, hopefully. We'll see. So let's just open the parcel. I haven't opened it yet because I like to open these things on camera and get my genuine reaction rather than me thinking, like opening it up and thinking, oh, that's all right. Oh, I don't know about that. Ahead of time rather than, and then I have to sort of be like, well, I think this is, it just doesn't feel as natural. So yeah, I'm just going to open it up now and let's just see. I can't actually remember what I bought. I remember the little bits and bobs, but it was quite a while ago now. Um, one thing I will say about Chien, I haven't looked into them, I don't know if they're a good company, I have no idea. Just one of my friends suggested that I look on there and I did and I found some nice stuff. They get you with the express delivery. Um, it was like, oh, buy £100 worth and get express delivery for free. And I thought, okay, that sounds kind of cool. Uh, I'll get the stuff nice and quick. The express delivery, so I think I looked at this at the beginning of December, the express delivery said 22nd to 24th of December. The standard delivery was 22nd to 23rd of December or something. There's literally no need to get the express delivery. It's not express. And I really don't understand why they can call it express delivery. Um, in my mind, I thought it would be like next day delivery for express. Um, because I think it's like, I could be wrong, maybe £12 for express delivery or something. I'll put the actual price here. But obviously they had the whole spend £100, get it for free, which is an absolute con. So don't bother with that. <laughs> okay, so let's just jump straight into it. Okay, we'll start with the little things first. So I, I try not to make too much noise. So I bought some hair clips because I thought, I don't know, they look kind of nice uh, to put in your hair. So low ponytail and then flip it up, obviously at the back, and then clip it up. Uh, I thought that'd be quite nice and these were quite cheap. So I just thought I'd get them. And I usually wear um, sort of, like, I don't know what they're called, blue light glasses. They basically cut out all the blue light, I think, um, or something like that. So I bought some more of them. Yeah, they're pretty much the same as my old ones. Uh, and they seem to do the job. I usually get migraines really bad and headaches from um, sitting at a computer. And these seem to really help. So I thought I'd get another pair of these because I think they're about three pounds or something. Uh, so I thought they were quite good and I'm happy with them. They look exactly the same as my other ones. My other ones are about £15, so that's good. Bargain. Okay, so outfit number one is just a little dress. I wanted it loose, obviously, because I bloat quite a lot. Uh, and I like that it goes down at the back, so you haven't got to worry. 
this a lot of these dresses can be too short i'm five foot three um so this would probably be shorter for you but for me it's kind of perfect just above the knees goes up at the sides and then down at the back and i quite like that i bought this little bag as well let me come closer the basic black bag with little handles um let me open up actually i haven't opened it yeah i thought it did and it comes with a strap so you can yeah so you can either hold it like this which is probably what i would do or you can have it an over the shoulder one so i'm really happy with that i really like the bag um i've got quite a few bags but this was just really basic and i think would go with everything which is what i wanted to do um so now i'm going to try on the little coat um i really like this i i'll put the size and the price here because i cannot remember um what size i got i think it was maybe a 10 bag down um i would say it obviously needs an iron to it um the fabric is sort of a bit silky um maybe satiny but it also looks and feels like cotton it's really weird it's like a really soft cotton that is almost satiny um this is a little bit funny at the front but it has been in a bag for a very long time so i have a feeling that if i ironed it or something it would go like that a little bit flatter and better um but yeah this size fits me really well the straps aren't too long which a lot um a lot of tops and dresses i have that problem where the straps are just constantly doing this um but these feel really nice um yeah i'm really happy with this Let's see back you probably want to wear a strapless bra um or no bra whatever uh but yeah super comfy i really like the length of it so let's try on this jacket. So I went for a Home Alone vibe because I've been seeing a lot of people wear these. And first off, the fabric's like a felt fabric um, and it feels really weird. So if you're a textured person, you, you won't like this because it's like it sort of squeaks in your hand. <laughs> um, but I don't mind it. I Like I said, I'm 5'3 and this goes pretty much to my heels like it is really long let me tap it on this new fabric constantly having to focus the camera there we go that's better um i like it i didn't think i liked it when i put it on the floor uh, to unwrap it obviously obviously needs an iron as well but i think for a january graduation this will look nice it'll also be very warm because it obviously covers my legs so if i'm freezing i'll just be like this but for photos, you can sort of, let me get my bag. I think I've done all right. Yeah, I like that. Hopefully my boyfriend likes it, I'm sure he will. Um, yeah, I genuinely wasn't expecting the coat to be nice because it was quite cheap for what it was. I think coats are usually quite expensive, especially ones this, this length and this style, because they're quite nice. The size fits me perfectly, actually. Try and focus. Obviously ignore the creases because it has been wrapped up for ages, but it fits me pretty perfectly on the shoulders for what it is. Obviously it's not like a really expensive one that's made to fit me, but for yeah, the price and everything, I am really happy with that. I think that's really nice. Oh, I feel a bit fancy. How weird really nice and you can wear some little pumps or you can wear some heels uh, i'll probably wear just little pumps because i'm not very good at walking in heels and i don't feel myself in heels to be honest i feel more myself if i'm wearing trainers <laughs> or flats but yeah i'll probably just wear some little black pumps with this but yeah, i'm happy with that Ooh, what? Ooh. <laughs> be walking their dogs <laughs> right very happy that's me sorted for the graduation but let's try on all the other dresses as well I've also got some trousers, which I forgot I'd got, uh, and a little jacket. So I'm going to find a little t-shirt from my actual cupboard and going to try on the trousers with the little jacket, the other jacket, because it's more casual. And I'm very excited to see what that looks like. But while we've got these bits out, we'll do all the black dresses. Let me know down below after this, I'll remind you in a second, which black dress was your favourite. Okay, guys, so this is dress number two. Let me just focus the camera focus please okay um i did really like it because i just got changed in the bathroom um and i sort of saw in a little mirror and i thought oh that's nice um so 
let me know what you think. Uh, I think it's nice. I think it's more of a going out dress, so I wouldn't wear this to the graduation. It is very short. But I don't know if it shows off my tummy too much. The fabric, try and get this. Um, so the fabric's like, sat oh, I don't know what it is. Did I call the other one satin? Velvet? I think it's velvet. Like I do feel good in it. I mean, it fits really well. Uh, there's no zip or anything. It literally just slides on because it's a little bit stretchy. Uh, and I do like it, so I think I will wear it out. Okay, dress number three. Um, I don't know what I got this one. Sorry, the lighting is so bad. Um, so it's got these things. I don't think I realized it had these things because they never fit me. Like I'm a bit bigger up top than the rest of my body. So like I'm a size 10, but I'm probably like a size 12 or 18 up top. So these little bits never sit where they should. So that's interesting. Um, but I think I got it because I sort of liked the different style of skirt just to try it out. It does show off the curvy belly, um, but it's not too bad, I don't think. But I wanted to get something a little bit different, and I wanted to try something a bit different. Very short, like too short. Yeah, I don't think I like this one. Oh no. Okay, let's just do a thumbnail while we're here. I think I might give this one away, so I hope you want it. <laughs> but I think you just have to be a certain um, body shape to suit this kind of thing, and that is not mine. So it's not a bad thing, It's everyone's body's different. Doesn't mean mine's any less nice, just means that I can't wear certain things. But oh well. Okay, let's just move on to the next dress. Okay, here's the next dress. It is quite tight. I don't think I can move very well. Uh, in this and it does sort of highlight my tummy uh, which is fine like it's there it is what it is um so maybe I just wear like a little top or something with it but I do really like this dress uh, I love this little slit I think sometimes they can go too high up but that's just like a nice nice little bit of movement which is cool um, and I like the high neckline, just sort of feels a little bit more classy. Um, I think the first one for sure is the best so far. Um, and I think I, when I ordered them, I knew that my body possibly wouldn't suit some of these dresses. I think it's essential to sort of know your body type and your body shape and then what you A, feel comfortable in and B, flatters your body. Because yes, the girls online that are really thin and have no belly bump, um, they do look amazing in these dresses because that's basically their job. They all look nice in most stuff, um, but this is just the reality of it. Um, plus Christmas has probably made it worse. Um, but yeah, I think I'll definitely wear this one uh, because I'm not ashamed of my tummy at all. Uh, I just think in some dresses it looks ridiculous, like in that previous dress whereas I think I can get away with it in this one yeah so I, I do like this um, and I will definitely wear it I think it is I really like this neckline I think that looks really nice right let's go for the next dress these are not going great I'm not gonna lie I was really hoping oh, a little bread I was really hoping that they'd all look amazing but that's just not realistic your body's not gonna look amazing in every single dress that you find uh, and that is completely fine Okay, like I said, I completely forgot what I'd ordered and I put this dress on thinking, oh God, here we go. It's one of these roofy, rushel, whatever dresses. And I love it. <laughs> I think it's so nice. I did not expect it to suit my body type at all because uh, the others didn't. But how nice is that? I think it's nice. <laughs> this. Um, so the fabric is like really stretchy, really comfy. Um, again, it sort of looks like a cotton, but a shiny cotton with a lot of stretch. Um, like it's probably polyester or something, but it's uh, so difficult. Can you see the fabric? I don't think you can really see it, but it is really nice. <laughs> Focus on me. Okay, good. Um, yeah, I really like it. It is really 
like it sucks you in, which is nice. Um, it feels really comfortable and it's really long, which I like. Um, so it covers everything. I don't know, I just feel good. I love it. Uh, let's try the coat on. I may end up wearing this to the graduation because I feel like it looks classy. Yeah. Yeah, what do you think? So it is, for me, it's between the first dress, this one, or this one. So you let me know what one you think. I actually don't want to take this dress off. You know when you just feel good in something and you feel comfortable and it just gives you a little bit of energy? That's how I feel about this dress. I'm so glad, like, I had no idea what was coming or what dresses I ordered because I forgot. But I'm so glad this was the last one because I was starting to feel a little bit sad about myself. I'm not going to lie on those last three because they were just so tight and for very different body shapes. <laughs> so yeah, this one is more for me, a little curvy, doesn't highlight any of that, which is absolutely fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. It's like Ross. Um, yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. Cute. Right, I might go and show my boyfriend while I put it on uh, that I'm wearing this to its graduation. Oh my god. Right, I'm just going to go show Jack this now and I'll be back with my last outfit which is the trousers and the little jacket and I'm just going to find a t-shirt. I'm so bad with styling things I swear I have no idea what t-shirt to, to put with the items that I have but we'll find something. <laughs> right, I'll be back in two seconds. Okay last but not least we've got the leggings that I got and this jacket which I love. <laughs> Obviously it's quite oversized I think it's meant to be like that. Uh, but it's super comfy. I was going to buy one of these on Vinted, which was actually like a blush pink, I think, or like a ready pink. And the person who was selling it, bearing in mind it was old, had holes in it, had like paint on the sleeves. <laughs> she wanted like £15. And I was like, I'll give you seven. Like, it's really not worth £15. <laughs> and she just refused to reduce the price. And it's still for sale now. So... You're welcome. I could have given you seven pounds for that, but you're never gonna sell it. So I'm fine. <laughs> I'm not bitter at all. So I got this instead and I'm really happy about it. I'll put the price here. Don't know how much it was, but it was brand new. Um, and no paint on the sleeves. I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> but yeah, so um, I love it. I love the color. I think it's really cute. It's like a, it sort of looks brown in this light, but it's an army green, basically. Um, just paired it with one of my dad's old t-shirts. <laughs> Don't know what this is. <laughs> but yeah, I love it. <laughs> and then these are the trousers. Um, I don't know how flattering they are, if at all. Um, but I've seen everyone wearing these sort of wet look, leather look leggings. And I always find that leggings can look a little bit tacky and cheap sometimes. No offense. Um, and I've got like a pair that I got from Primark, which is just black, which I wear sometimes with like long t-shirts, but very rarely. So I thought I wanted something a little bit nicer that isn't jeans, so that is stretchy, <laughs> um, but is also just a little bit nicer than just plain um, cotton leggings. So I thought these are a good in-between. And they're actually really warm as well. I don't know what they're made out of, um, but they're stretchy, really warm, really comfy. I probably want to wear a little bit of a longer top. But yeah, I really like this. I might leave this one to go get Nando's to finish. Um, and I love the jacket. I really love the jacket. This is what I've been wanting for ages. Uh, and I love the colour. So yeah, I'm happy. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I really enjoyed trying everything on. I think that is everything. <laughs> and I'm, yeah, I'll probably give away a few of those dresses. Let me know which was your favourite dress or just your favourite item in general. Uh, like I said, we've got the coat, this jacket, we've got the trousers, we've got the bag, and then we've got all the dresses, uh, and then the clips and the glasses, but they were just little bits. Um, but yeah, let me know what was your favourite item, what dress you think I should wear to graduation, if you think that I am right that those dresses do not suit my body type, because I don't think they do, and that is not, like, there's nothing wrong with that, that's absolutely fine. It's not about me, it's about certain clothes are made for certain body types which is fine. You don't have to wear everything just because other people wear it. Um, you just wear stuff that makes you feel comfortable and that you look good in, if you know what I mean. I don't, I don't know. 
<laughs> I'm like the worst person to be giving fashion advice ever, but I do know what I do like and what I feel comfortable in. Oh my God, I love this jacket. I can't stop looking at this jacket. I'm not even looking at the camera. I'm like looking at myself. So I'll see you guys in the next video. I will be doing a sort of uh, goals slash uh, things I want to do in 2022. Um, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but yeah, my basically my plan for 2022. I've got a few things in mind that I want to do or to not do, I guess. Um, so yeah, hopefully that'll be coming soon. I'll be filming that in the next few days. Hopefully I can edit this real quick because I don't think there's anything I'm gonna be cutting out. I'm just gonna throw it all together. Don't worry, I'm talking too much. Okay, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to subscribe and share with a friend who you think might like this. Um, okay, bye.